At Walmart, we got some Bounty napkins. I go ahead and get two packs, that way I don't have to worry about it. Uh, we got some creamer for our coffee. I found the limited edition Great Value Kettle Corn, and we'll try to get that video out as soon as possible, so you that may be up on the channel before you see uh, this in the haul. <laughs> uh, it may, may already be tried. And then we got uh, four six packs of A&W Zero Sugar root beer. At Walmart, we bought some of the Kind Healthy Grains Peanut Butter Clusters, uh, some Johnsonville Smoked Brats, and then Kevin spotted these on an end cap. These are Wonka Magic Hat Gummies. It says, turn your tongue blue. Great. Uh, we tried some candies, and honestly, they felt like just like this. Um, I'm wanting to say they were Warheads. I don't remember. We did a review on the channel, though. But we bought two just because there's supposed to be four flavors in here, and we want to make sure we get all four. At Kroger, we got some corn. Uh, we're going to have corn on the cob, and so we got two packages of corn. Uh, we bought two cans of Campbell's cream of a chicken soup, and I got two cans of bean and bacon soup. I think in one of my last hauls, I said... I've been craving bean and bacon, so I'm going to buy a can and, get, and let myself have it, and then I probably won't want it anymore. Well, guess what? It just made me want more. So, I bought two more cans of bean and bacon. Uh, someone asked if Kevin would review this Price's Pimento Cheese Spread on his Lunchtime Review channel. So, we found that at Kroger. That on their website, it said they had like original and spicy and maybe light or something, but this was the only one that Kroger had was the original. Um, I also bought some of the Smoker's Natural Peanut Butter, creamy peanut butter. My friend Carlos uh, um, told me that we were missing this Haledo's Mexico. This is the salted caramel with Maria cookie. And so we got that one. And then Kevin also spotted this one we haven't reviewed. This one is uh, vanilla dulce de leches. And so we'll be trying those. Uh, we bought some Sister Schubert's Parker House style rolls. I bought a Pillsbury white cake mix and a Betty Crocker yellow cake mix. Uh, we bought some uh, chicken thighs, a package of chicken thighs, and we'll divide these up into four and four, so we'll have chicken twice with that. Uh, we bought some steak. These are boneless ribeye, and you get three steaks. This is 2.54 pounds of steak. They were $15.99 a pound, and the price it's forty sixty one, but with your Kroger card, you get them for thirty eight oh seven. And the reason I'm saying all that is because my friend Jean said, "Hey, I, how much were those steaks?" And so I'm letting her know that's how much these were. They were fifteen ninety nine a pound. And then Kevin loves these Mike Sells movie theater butter flavored puff corn, and so they were like two for six. So we went ahead and bought two bags. At Meyer, we found these, the Village Pie Maker. Kevin and I have reviewed their large pies before, and someone had contacted me a while back on Instagram and sent me a picture of these, and I thought, well, we'll never get those in our area, but we did. We got them at Meyer. Uh, they had a blueberry, an apple, a pecan, and a cherry. Uh, we also bought at Meyer some pumpkin spice yogurt dip pretzels, apple cinnamon pretzels, vanilla bourbon yogurt pretzels, and then these are salted caramel, all pretzels. And then I saw this Marie Callender's No Sugar Added Lattice Apple Pie. It says 75% sugar. I have never seen it around here. Now, you might have had it in your area. I've never seen it. So, I bought that one and the regular one so that we can compare them. And, you know, Kevin said the... Um, no sugar was lighter. You're right. It's 37 ounces, and this one's 42 ounces. Mm -hmm. So it's well, not lighter. And so it is a lighter pie. Um, on Kevin's lunchtime review, he's going to be trying these cram. They are a PB and J sandwiches. This one is the strawberry, and then this one is blackberry. Um, also at Meyer, we bought this for our grandson Gavin. He loves Stranger Things. And these are, um, you lay them on the pumpkin. They're sheets you put on the pumpkin. I don't want to open it because it's his. I want him to open it. Uh, but there's these sheets you lay on they your pumpkin. Like and you decide what picture you want. And then you, you poke holes and, and you make you a picture. Yeah, you cut it out. So anyway, he'll enjoy that. 
Um, in Aldi, we bought the specially selected, this is chocolate peanut butter ice cream. You can probably see it better on the lid. And this is vanilla chocolate almond ice cream. We bought some sorbet. This is Sunday Shop sorbet. This one is uh, pineapple. And this one is strawberry lemonade. We also bought this uh, Sunday Shop. This is a gelato flight. It has limoncello, pistachio, and tiramisu. Uh, we had not tried this Shogetan Crunchy Peanut Butter Bar. We don't think we tried it. Uh, they had the uh, pumpkins, the little pumpkin shapes. We've tried those in the past. But this year they had um, apples. So they have a cookie dough, an almond cream, and a chocolate mousse. They also had the Moser Roth Chocolate Selection. This is a limited autumn selection. And they have pumpkin spice. Uh, almond maple, caramel apple, and fall berry. Those will be fun to try. Uh, we stopped at our local ice cream shop, Crank and Boom, and we bought some uh, six flavors that we have not tried before. Uh, this one is bourbon and Coke, which I love. This, oh, well, I love the drink. I'm sure I'll love the ice cream too. Chocolate fudge ripple. Uh, this one is Coconut Caramel Delight, and it is non-dairy. Both of these are non-dairy. Uh, Chocolate Fudge Ripple and Coconut Caramel Delight. Uh, this is a special flavor, Coffee Stout. And then we have a Cookie Dough special flavor, and then we have a small batch Banoffee Pie, which I'm really, really excited about. And then at Kroger, we bought some Snack Factory... Uh, Pretzel Crisp Bites, we bought the Garlic and Herb, the Spicy Ranch, the Honey Mustard, and then we bought the Lay's Simply Veggie Poppables. This is with sea salt, and this is Ranch. We also bought the Elf on the Shelf Santa's Cookies, uh, the ice cream sandwiches, and then at, um, huh? I think it was at Walmart. At Target. At Target, yeah. At sure. Target. At Target, we bought Caesar's Kitchen. Kevin is going to be trying these on his Lunchtime Review channel. This is These are gluten-free. So these are stuffed shells. And then these are buffalo-style chicken mac and cheese. And so he'll do that on Lunchtime Review. And then at Target, we bought the Favorite Day Pumpkin Spice Cookie Bites. Maple Shortbread Cookies. Pumpkin Spice Crisp Cookies, Favorite Day Apple Pie Filled Cookies, this is Candy Corn Crunch uh, Bark Crisps, this is Scarecrow Crunch, these are Pumpkin Spice Coated Caramels, um, these are Godiva Birthday Cake Truffles, which we've already reviewed, those are for something else. Um, and then we bought a bunch of baked goods from Target. We bought the pumpkin spiced, uh, pumpkin sliced cake, the pumpkin spice mini cupcakes, and the pumpkin bites. Uh, we also bought the um, soft sandwich cookies and the apple cider uh, glazed donuts. And then Kevin, uh, let's see, these are now Walmart. Now Walmart, okay. So we bought two bags of shredded hash brown potatoes from Walmart. Kevin's going to be trying these on his Lunchtime Review channel. These are TGI Fridays. We have chicken and mashed potatoes, whiskey glazed. We have, they're all whiskey glazed. Oh, no, these two are whiskey glazed. Uh, pulled pork with mac and cheese. And then we have a chicken fettuccine alfredo, spicy Cajun style, and a chicken and rice spinach artichoke sauce. Um, also at Walmart, we bought some McCafe coffee. We bought some quilted northern toilet paper. I bought six of my Clear American strawberry drinks. We were out of Ziploc freezer bags, so we bought some of those. Um, I bought a big box of the Toasty Lance Toasty peanut butter crackers, because uh, I like them. Uh, we bought some Kraft mild cheddar cheese, a pound of that. Two containers. They didn't have one big container of light whip topping it only kept the light only comes in a smaller container so i bought two and then last week we bought two of the five new or uh, limited edition van and ice cream so we have those in the freezer but these are the other three that they came out with this is a cranberry crumble 
This is a sticky toffee pudding, and this is an Idaho malted milkshake and fries. Idaho potato hmm. malted milkshake and fries. Uh, they also have a pumpkin, but that came out last year, so we've already reviewed that. It's on the channel. And then we were able to get the new Netflix Scoops Ahoy ice cream. Uh, we bought the Cinnamon Bun Bites, Triple Decker Extravaganza, Chocolate Pudding, Mint Flare, USS Butterscotch, and Pineapple Upside Down. 